Coming up, the gymnastics team was in action on Saturday, looking to claim a coveted SEC title. Find out if they can come out on top. And the Lady Tigers basketball team was in the tournament action this weekend. Find out if they were able to make it past the first round. And find out why Friday was a day and Fundy Planets will never forget. All that and more of the hot seat starts right now. seen earlier today from the gymnastics facility more on that in later in the show hello and welcome to hot seat my name is reggie chapman and i'm lily fontenot reggie i think it's safe to say that this weekend was jam-packed with tiger sports lily you couldn't be more right and i'll tell you why first off lady tiger gymnastics squad was in action in jacksonville on saturday competing for an sec title they went into the meet as the favorite to win it all and they did just that. The Lady Tigers put up yet another impressive performance. The Tigers scored a 198.075, the fourth highest score in school history. Ashley Nat Nash, another perfect score on, on vault during the meet. It was the ninth perfect score of her career. Nat, along with Lexi Priestman, Ruby Harold, and McKenna Kelly, all earned all SEC honors. And today, the team held a watch party to see where they'd be seated in the NCAA tournament. The Lady Tigers are headed to Nebraska, where they'll compete in the Lincoln Regional on Saturday, April 1st. They'll compete against Boise State, Nebraska, Arizona, Iowa State, and Minnesota. This will be the 33rd straight NCAA appearance for the Lady Tigers. Now that they know where they're headed, all they have left to do is prepare. Place to compete. It won't be, a, I don't expect a huge crowd, um, but it'll be a tough competition just because the three seeds hosting it and, and Boise's the other team, and they've really come on strong at the end of the season. And uh, so it'll be, it'll be a great competition. With this team, nothing really phases us, not much. Um, so I think we just gather together, protect the family, and we're ready to go. Obviously, regionals is a big competition for everybody. So um, just the regular preparation that we've been doing, we don't want to. Um, we don't need to do a anything more or anything less. I think we need to be ourselves and um, stay in the process of what we've been doing, and um, it's obviously going to come out the way that we want to. Lady Tigers are the number two overall seed heading into the event. Meanwhile, the Lady Tigers basketball team was looking to make a splash of their own. They faced off against the University of California on Saturday in the first round of the NCAA Women's Tournament. LSU came into the match as the eighth seed, while Cal was number nine. The Lady Tigers played their defensive strengths, forcing 20 turnovers and scoring 17 points off of them. But the Tigers couldn't keep up on offense, losing 55 to 52. They shot a mere 33% from the field, while Cal, on the other hand, shot a 44% and drained seven threes in the game. LSU ended their season with a 20 and 12 record, while Cal will go on to face the number one seeded Baylor Golden Bears. Now, if there wasn't already enough going on this weekend, the LSU baseball team started SEC play against Georgia on Friday. However, the game was anything but ordinary. Record fans were there. Fans were left on their feet. And as Kristen Payne reports, one Tiger did something no other LSU player has ever done before. The number six Tigers opened SEC play against Georgia with a win 22-9 on Friday night. Sophomore left fielder Antoine Duplantis made history by breaking a school record getting six hits. He also scored four runs and had seven RBIs on the day. You let me, you let me tie, tie the record and be a part of history for about three minutes and then you had to break it. So uh, good for him. That was awesome. I had no idea. I went up there my last time. I was like, that'd be pretty cool to get six hits. I, I never got five hits before in a game, so like I was going up there like, I guess that'd be pretty cool. And I wanted the top primer, so uh, I didn't want to let him have all the spotlight. So, uh, okay. is it like Coach Day when he told me he was going to get the? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> For Tiger TV, I'm Kristen Payne. The Tigers would go on to sweep the Bulldogs over the weekend, moving to 16 and five on the year. Well, with everything else going on, it wasn't hard to forget that the women's tennis team was in action on Saturday. But that didn't stop them from showing up against the fifth-ranked Auburn Tigers. And guess what? History was made yet in another sport. You know what, Reggie? I kind of like this theme we have going. The women's team defeated Auburn in straight sets on Sunday to notch the highest-ranked win in program history. 
The Tigers won 4-3, thanks in part to another impressive performance from freshman Jade Lewis, who won her second straight SEC match. The Lady Tigers will be back on the tennis courts on Saturday when they face off against Texas A&M. What's well, well, still to come? LSU basketball players Ayanna Mitchell is here in the studio to talk about her team's year and how they'll move forward into next season. And our brackets are struggling. Find out if even one perfect bracket remains when we come back. Well, the Lady Tigers are bounced out of the tournament on Saturday. But this season was still considered a huge success by many. Ayanna Mitchell and Reggie Moncrief are both here in studio with Tierra Gibson to talk about their experience this season and how they feel about it all. Tierra? All right, thanks, guys. As you know, we have Ayanna Mitchell and Ray Jean Moncrief here. And, guys, thank you so much for being here. No um, well, my first question is, Ray Jean, can you tell me about your first memory playing basketball? Um, actually, it was in front of my house. Um, we was on the street, and uh, I was just dribbling the basketball between my legs, and I was just like, look, Daddy, uh, I can dribble. And um, that's one memory I remember and uh, something I can never forget. So you were born to be a point guard. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Yes. All right, can you guys tell me when when did you know that you wanted to be a Tiger? When did you know you wanted to play in college? Um, I think I knew I wanted to play in college when um, in high school I had, you know, the younger team, like as far as middle school and the elementary kids coming up to me, like, oh, my God, you're my role model. And, you know, I can see you um, on the TV screen and I'll be so happy, you know. So I think once they came to me and approached me, then it was like, okay, I need to go to a bigger stage. Are you right? Um, when I started getting um, letters from colleges, I and I knew my parents couldn't afford college, so I knew I needed to get a full scholarship <laughs> somewhere. So um, um, that's when I started having interest in schools. Nice. All right, so can you tell me a little bit maybe about your time at LSU? You know, have you learned anything, or has it just been not you haven't learned anything at all? <laughs> Um, I've actually learned a lot. I learned how to be patient. Um, I sat out my freshman year um, due to an injury, so I registered it, and I had to watch, you know, I had to watch and just be on the sideline. So I've, I've learned to wait my turn and, and to be patient. Same situation. I had learned to be patient. Um, had surgery twice since I've been here. Um, my freshman year, end of my freshman year, and uh, the end of my sophomore year. So just learning how to be patient and, um, you know, everything works out for itself. So, what are your future goals? Playing past LSU, pros, WNBA, or what? Um, I actually have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, um, I think I just want to do something that, that deals with people, you know, just um, communicating with people. Um, I don't want to sit behind a desk. So, um, <laughs> as we're sitting as behind a desk. <laughs> um, but no, I just want to be involved with people. Uh, I want, I want to play in the WBA. I want to play in the pros. Um, if that door opens up for me, I'm going to take it and then as, um, use my engineering degree. Um, I'm not really sure why I want, what I want to do with it yet, but that's what I plan on doing. So how do you balance, you know, being an engineering major and playing basketball? That seems like it would be crazy. Honestly, that's a tough question. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I can say God really, um, he helps me out a lot. But um, it's really time, um, time management know how to handle things and knowing what's important or not. All right, cool. All right, well, lastly, I wanted to do uh, a little rapid-fire question, and I'm going to ask you just a few of your favorite things. So what's your favorite holiday? Um, Christmas. <laughs> All right, favorite candy? Snickers. Uh, Hershey's. <laughs> favorite shoes? Jays. Flip-flops. All right, <laughs> lastly, favorite movie? Tangled. The Color Purple. Tangled, okay. I'm with Ray here on Tangled. Reggie, Lily, back to you. Well, still to come, our brackets are far from perfect. You know, but maybe someone else's is. Find out if anyone is still standing when we come back. The Tiger TV sports staff held a bracket challenge, and it's safe to say none of us are going too hot right now. I know after Villanova lost, mine went down the drain. Well, Lily, you're not the only one, actually. There aren't any perfect brackets actually left at all. During this tournament, one bracket went 39 straight games without any faults, and that is an absolute new record. But when Iowa State beat Purdue, even that bracket became one of the millions to witness disappointment. And that's sad because, honestly, this, this, this March Madness has been really cool. Obviously, Kansas is getting a lot of big wins, but uh, when Villanova lost, that, I know that killed a lot of people's brackets. How would you think about uh, Xavier upsetting Florida State, all the upsets, upsets this weekend? Man, upset season's great. I, love, I think that's really what makes Martin, March Madness special, and uh, for years to come, we'll be able to see a lot of update, upsets like that. Anyway, that's going to do it for us here. You can keep up with all LSU sports on our website, lsunow.com, 
on our Twitter page at TigerTV underscore sports. For Lily Fontenot, I'm Reggie Chapman. Have a great week, Tigers.